Okay, so hopefully you saw the overview of the virtual light studio that I did in my previous video. If not, go watch that and then come back to this video. So you don't own any lights, but you really want to get to know the ins and outs of three-point lighting. Well, you've come to the right place. Let me show you. So you're going to go over to the Googles, right? And you're going to type in virtual light studio, and it's going to be the first website that pops up. I'll also link it down below. You can simply just click the link that I provided after the video. All right, so each one of these lights, I'm going to break down into purpose, position, height, and power, starting with the key light. So if I go over to the light diagram. Now the purpose of the key light is that it's the main light. It's the main light to illuminate and add dimension to your subject. As far as position, you want it to place it either on the left or the right of the camera. As far as height, you want it above eye level. So you don't want it to be uh, in the subject's eyes. You want it to be above their eye level. So you want to bring it up. Okay. Now, as far as the brightness goes, this is the brightest of all the lights, of all three of them. Okay, I'm gonna put a modifier on it. Now, as far as power goes, the key light is the brightest compared to the other two lights. So as we can see here, we have the camera off to the left. It's high above the eye level, and it's at a 45 coming down on the subject. Now, moving on to the fill light. So let's go ahead and turn on the fill light. The purpose of the fill light is to soften the shadows created by the key light. The position would be the opposite of the key light. So the key light is on the left. I'm gonna put the fill light on the right. And as far as the, um, the height, you want it above the eye level at 45 towards the subject. So I'm gonna raise this up right there and as far as power goes power this is at about 50 percent right here i'm going to eyeball it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a diffuser on here i'm going to put a soft box on it put a medium soft box now the last light is the backlight and the purpose of the backlight is to separate the subject or model from the background this I call it the backlight and people use backlight and hair light interchangeably, but the proper name would be a hair light because what it's doing is it's actually hitting the hair and it's creating separation from the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that light on and I'm gonna rotate it all the way to the back. As far as position goes, this light goes up high and you want it uh, to hit the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and solo this light so you can see what this light is doing. I'll put a, um, a red gel on it, a full red gel, and I'll make it very obvious, like so. So that is the backlight. That's what the backlight looks like. And I can um, focus it so that it hits just the hair. Now I'm gonna take off the solo. You can see here's my three-point light setup. I've got my key light, I've got my fill light and I've got my backlight. Okay, so this is what my three point light setup looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'll pull it back up. And this is what my three point light setup looks like. You can see all the choices that I made down at the bottom. And it's your turn. Go ahead and give it a try. The link is down below. Okay, that pretty much wraps up this video. You now know how to execute a proper three point light. Not only that, but you understand the purpose of each light. Now, remember, these rules are meant to be understood and then bent to your specific needs. Have fun with the website and see what you come up with. For a chance to be featured on the next video, use the hashtag virtual3p on your IG post. As always, everybody, take care, stay creative.